Hello, fellow detectives. Welcome back to our channel, Sentiment Streams. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on our thrilling content. Today, we're embarking on a global journey, diving into the heart of the top 10 most dangerous cities in the world. But we're not just sightseeing, oh no! We're unraveling the intricate process of how murder mysteries are solved in these cities. So, fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be one wild ride. Number 1 on the list is Celaya, Mexico. This city is not just known for its colonial architecture, but also for its high crime rate. The increased violence in the city is due to the efforts by the Jalisco New Generation Cartel to wipe out its rival Santa Rosa de Lima Cartel to take control of drug trafficking and large-scale gasoline thefts. But how do they solve murder mysteries here? Well, it's like piecing together a jigsaw puzzle with clues from forensic evidence, witness testimonies, and surveillance footage. But remember, this isn't your grandma's Sunday afternoon puzzle, folks. Let's dive a bit deeper into the crime-solving process in Celaya. An example of this is the Celaya massacre that occurred on May 23, 2022. In this incident, 11 people were killed in a mass shooting at the Gala Hotel and a nearby bar. The attack was carried out by 15 hooded gunmen from the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel. The investigation into such crimes often involves multiple facets. In this case, the attackers left a message on a piece of cardboard referring to the Jalisco New Generation Cartel and three dismembered bodies which were found hours before the attack. This evidence, along with witness testimonies and surveillance footage, would be used to piece together the events of the crime. Forensic evidence, such as ballistics from the assault rifles used and residue from the Molotov cocktails, would also be analyzed. In addition, investigators would likely look into the ongoing gang war between the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel and the Jalisco New Generation cartel as a motive for the attack. However, it's important to note that the high levels of violence and corruption in the city can often hinder these investigations. Law enforcement agencies may face threats or bribes from the cartels, and witnesses may be too afraid to come forward. Next up is our number two on the list is, we're heading to Tijuana, Mexico. High violence in the city is mainly due to human trafficking and drug trades carried out by different gangs. Abrupt violence also frequently takes place between the two rival gangs, the Tijuana and the Sinaloa cartels. In Tijuana, Mexico, the process of solving murder mysteries is a daunting task due to the high rate of violent crimes, largely fueled by the drug trade, particularly methamphetamine. The city recorded a staggering 2,518 murders in 2018 and the numbers have been rising since then. The city's law enforcement and criminal justice systems face numerous challenges in investigating and solving these crimes. The high volume of cases, coupled with the violent and often public nature of these crimes, makes it difficult to effectively investigate each case. Furthermore, the involvement of powerful drug cartels in many of these crimes adds an additional layer of complexity and danger to the investigations. In many cases, the crime scenes are chaotic and gruesome, with victims often being shot in public places. Forensic teams work to collect evidence from these scenes, which can include bullet casings, blood samples, and any other physical evidence that might be present. This evidence is then analyzed in an attempt to identify the perpetrators. However, the high level of violence and the power of the drug cartels in the city often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials themselves may be threatened or bribed into silence. As a result, a large number of these crimes go unsolved. Despite these challenges, there are efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. The city's mayor, Arturo Gonzalez Cruz, has emphasized the need to rehabilitate Tijuana's social fabric and eradicate corruption, which he describes as the mother of all evils. Our next stop is the number three on the list is Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. The increased brutal violence in the city is often attributed to the turf wars between the rival Sinaloa and the Juarez cartels. Poverty, drug violence, and government corruption are also main reasons for the increased violence. In Ciudad Juarez, solving murder mysteries often involves the use of forensic anthropology and DNA analysis, as exemplified by the work of Mercedes Doretti a New York-based forensic anthropologist and co-founder of the Argentine Forensic Anthropology Team. 
In 2001, after the bodies of eight young women were discovered in a cotton field near Ciudad Juarez, Doretti was called in to help identify the bodies. The local authorities had misidentified three of the eight remains, and Doretti's report to the Inter-American Court of Human Rights led to reparations for all the families and a condemnation of the Mexican justice system. Doretti's work in Ciudad Juarez revealed the importance of forensic anthropology and DNA analysis in solving murder mysteries. She used these techniques to identify the remains of the victims and to provide evidence of the authorities' mishandling of the case. However, the process of solving murder mysteries in Ciudad Juarez is often hindered by corruption and a lack of resources. Despite these challenges, the use of forensic anthropology and DNA analysis has proven to be a valuable tool in bringing justice to the victims of these crimes. Next, we're off to Ciudad Obregón, Mexico. This city functions as a vital region in the international drug and human trafficking trades. In Ciudad Obregón, the process of solving murder mysteries is a significant challenge due to the high rate of violent crimes. The city is one of the violence hotspots in the state of Sonora, which set a new annual murder record with nearly 1,600 victims in 2020, a 17% increase over the previous record. The majority of these murders are carried out with firearms. The high volume of cases, coupled with the violent nature of these crimes, makes it difficult for law enforcement and criminal justice systems to effectively investigate each case. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, such as bullet casings and blood samples. Witness testimonies and surveillance footage may also be used to piece together the events of the crime. However, the power of drug cartels in the city and the high level of violence often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials may face threats or bribes from the cartels. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. Our next stop is Arapuato, Mexico. The increased violence in the city is due to the frequent turf wars between the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel and the Jalisco New Generation cartel. In Arapuato, the process of solving murder mysteries is significantly challenged by the surge of violence in the city, primarily stemming from turf wars between the Jalisco Cartel New Generation CJNG, and the Santa Rosa de Lima Cartel SRLC. The city, with a population of slightly more than 500,000, has become one of the most violent cities in Mexico in the hemisphere. The key factor driving the current turbulence is the availability of black market oil, stolen from pipelines belonging to the national oil company Petróleos Mexicanos, Pemex. The profits derived from this lucrative industry, known within Mexico as Huachicol, has turned Guanajuato into sought-after terrain for local criminal groups. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, such as bullet casings and blood samples. Witness testimonies and surveillance footage may also be used to piece together the events of the crime. However, the power of drug cartels in the city and the high level of violence often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials may face threats or bribes from the cartels. In 2018, the local police essentially declared publicly they would no longer seek to enforce laws related to organized crime, which it proposed to leave to the federal government. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. Next, we're heading to Ensenada, Mexico. The increased violence in the city is due to the turf battles between the rival cartels. The Sinaloa Cartel, the Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion, and remnants of the Arellano Felix organization in addition to human trafficking and drug trades. In Ensenada, the process of solving murder mysteries is a significant challenge due to the high rate of violent crimes, largely fueled by the drug trade and territorial disputes between criminal groups. An example of this is the tragic event that occurred during the Chacanilazo rally in 2023, where at least 10 people were killed and another 9 injured after an armed group fired at drivers participating in the rally. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, such as bullet casings and blood samples. 
Witness testimonies and surveillance footage may also be used to piece together the events of the crime. However, the power of drug cartels in the city and the high level of violence often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials may face threats or bribes from the cartels. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. Our final stop is Uruapan, Mexico. The increased violence in the city is due to the turf wars between the rival cartels, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel and the Michoacan family. In Uruapan, the process of solving murder mysteries is significantly challenged by the surge of violence in the city, primarily stemming from turf wars between the Jalisco Cartel New Generation CJNG, and the Michoacan family. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, such as bullet casings and blood samples. Witness testimonies and surveillance footage may also be used to piece together the events of the crime. However, the power of drug cartels in the city and the high level of violence often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials may face threats or bribes from the cartels. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. Continuing our journey to number 8 on the list, we land in Uruapan, Mexico, a city witnessing regular clashes between the cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion and several other criminal groups, all vying for control over vital drug trafficking routes. With a staggering 72.59 homicides per 100,000 inhabitants, Uruapan is a city where solving murder mysteries is a daunting task. The city is plagued by extreme violence, with the Mexican non-governmental organization Casa and Commune registering 438 acts of extreme violence in September alone, making it the deadliest month of the year. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, interviewing witnesses, and following leads. However, the power of organized crime groups and the high level of violence often hinder these investigations. Witnesses may be too afraid to come forward, and law enforcement officials may face threats or bribes from these groups. The fear is palpable, and it's a constant battle for justice. The report by Casa and Commune reveals some chilling statistics. There have been at least 800 cases of torture this year, in addition to 640 incidents of dismemberment, mutilations, and destruction of corpses. The discoveries of 502 clandestine graves, 418 massacres, and 341 murders of women that were perpetrated with extreme cruelty paint a grim picture of the city. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. Now, let's move on to the ninth city on our list, Cape Town, South Africa. Known for its stunning landscapes, this city also has a dark side. With a homicide rate of 64 per 100,000 inhabitants, Cape Town is a city grappling with high levels of violence. There are approximately 130 different gangs in the city, and it is reported that over 100,000 people are involved with these gangs. Many crimes related to drugs and gang violence also take place in the city of Cape Town. The process of solving murder mysteries in Cape Town is complex, with only a small percentage of murder cases ever making it to trial, let alone ending in a successful conviction. This is a global phenomenon, but it is particularly pronounced in South Africa due to the high rates of violent crime. The process of solving these crimes typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, interviewing witnesses, and following leads. However, the high volume of interpersonal violence in South Africa makes it difficult for any police service to get a handle on the situation. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. However, the rising numbers of violent crimes indicate that these efforts have a long way to go. And that's a wrap on our journey through the top 10 most dangerous cities in the world. It's been a wild ride, and we hope you've learned a thing or two about the intricate process of solving murder mysteries in these cities. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. And that's a wrap on our journey through the top 10 most dangerous cities in the world.
It's been a wild ride, and we hope you've learned a thing or two about the intricate process of solving murder mysteries in these cities. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on our thrilling content. Our final stop on this global journey takes us to San Salvador, El Salvador. This city, which for years had one of the world's worst murder rates, saw a significant decrease in murders in 2022, with a drop of 56.8% amid a widespread crackdown on gang violence. The process of solving murder mysteries in San Salvador is closely tied to the country's efforts to combat gang violence. It typically involves collecting and analyzing forensic evidence from the crime scene, interviewing witnesses, and following leads. However, the high level of gang violence often hinders these investigations. Gang members may intimidate or harm witnesses, and law enforcement officials may face threats from these groups. In response to a surge in violence in March, President Nayib Bukele asked Congress to approve a temporary state of emergency, suspending certain constitutional rights in order to combat the notorious Barrio 18 and Mississippi 13 gangs. This controversial measure, which has been extended numerous times and remains in effect, set off a militarized offensive that has led to over 60,000 arrests of alleged gang affiliates. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to combat the violence and bring perpetrators to justice. The reduction in homicides is attributed to the state of exception, with a significant number of criminals no longer on the streets causing harm to the population. And that's a wrap on our journey through the top 10 most dangerous cities in the world. It's been a wild ride, and we hope you've learned a thing or two about the intricate process of solving murder mysteries in these cities. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on our thrilling content. Until next time, stay safe, fellow detectives. Until next time, stay safe, fellow detectives.